New technology to combat strokes is being used right here in the Central Valley. One local doctor performed a new type of carotid artery procedure to help his patient reduce the risk of surgical complications. Mr. Woolrath, how's it going? It's been more than six months since David Woolrath went to under to remove plaque from one of his carotid arteries. Vascular and endovascular surgeon Dr. Kamel Ekroth Bernard explains carotid arteries are major blood vessels that allow blood flow to the brain. You have two, one on each side uh, for each hemisphere of your brain. Uh, as it comes up here uh, to the mid portion of your neck about, we call it a bifurcation. It's basically a split. Uh, and that's where the carotid artery splits into the external carotid artery, which goes to your face. David is 76 years old. He suffered a minor stroke more than a year ago. My stroke occurred when I went down to L.A. and I had a stroke, got out of bed, put my foot on the, on the floor, the left leg goes out from under me, I stumble off to the left. Dr. Bernard says David's carotid artery on his right side had narrowed, which affected the flow of blood to his brain. He was at risk of having another stroke. Instead of it being smooth flow through these areas, if it's narrow, it's going to be haphazard and fast. And that can lift up pieces of plaque, can go to your brain, that's how you get a stroke. David unfortunately had so much scarring in his carotid artery, Dr. Bernard decided it was best to have a stent placed in. David also was the perfect candidate for TCAR. TCAR stands for transcarotid artery revascularization. A lot of the stroke risk that's involved with transfemoral stenting has to do with coming up through the aortic arch, which tends to have plaque in it also manipulating wires and catheters in the great vessels. According to Silk Road Medical, the Bay Area engineers of TCAR, the minimally invasive procedure is designed to give the surgeon more options when treating carotid artery disease. Now the system that they have set up for TCAR is a flow reversal system, which is really an open surgical principle. Uh, and by causing flow reversal uh, in the brain on that side, for a short period of time, it's usually very well tolerated by uh, patients. And this allows us to balloon very aggressively in the areas that are narrow, narrow and also place our stent all while allowing flow reversal to happen and protecting the brain at the same time. Well, I've always had a great confidence in uh, doctors and I had a great confidence in Dr. Bernard. Having the TCAR procedure done cuts down David's chances of ever having another stroke. TCAR's manufacturer says more than 10,000 TCAR procedures have been done worldwide, but David's was the first in the Central Valley. So having a new technology that is uh, present for patients, I'm excited for the patients. Uh, I think they have more options. Uh, especially as uh, patients start to get a little bit older. David says he's grateful community physicians like Dr. Bernard are always providing excellent state-of-the-art care to their patients. He looks forward to many more years of healthy living ahead. I'd kind of like to go for 97 because I just like that number. Um, so that's my plan and the way I feel right now it should be no problem.